Hello, this is Reza from Radekad, and today I'm going to talk about how you can use Power Query uh, scripts in Power Platform data flows and refresh it unlimited times at any frequency you want. Uh, and that helps your Power BI solution sometimes as well. Let's check it out. Uh, previously, I explained what is a data flow. A data flow is a Power Query script that you run uh, on the cloud in a Power BI um, uh, on, an, on top of a Power Query data set. I explained in a blog post and also a video that you have a, a separation of your Power Query or data transformation layer using data flow and the output of that is stored in Azure Data Lake. Uh, go ahead and check that blog post if you are interested. And then later on, you can use the result of that in Power BI. Now, um, if you have worked with Power BI, you know that there are different licensing options for Power BI and um, uh, Power BI Pro gives you ability to refresh your um, uh, data flows and data sets up to eight times a day uh, with 30 minutes frequency. Uh, premium will give you 48 times a day with uh, a minute frequency and unlimited uh, REST API refresh as well. Uh, but the premium is expensive, of course, uh, for uh, it's not a solution for everyone. It's not a solution for one person, two person, or even, let's say, four or five people in a company. Um, what you can do uh, if you don't have the premium licensing to build your uh Power uh, to build your data flows is to use Power Platform data flows. Power Platform data flows and Power BI data flows are very much the same with few differences. Uh, one of the differences is that you can use it to build your queries uh, with a different licensing plan. So first, you need to log into Power Platform data flows and Power Platform data flows. You build it in Power Apps Portal or let's call it Power Platform Portal because that's where you use for other Power Platform. Uh, tools as well for Power Automate and others. Um, so go to the Power uh, Apps.Microsoft.com, sign in with your account. Um, then uh, in the Power Apps portal under the data, you can uh, find data flows. And that is a place that you can go and create a new data flow. Uh, you can name it anything you want. I just call this data flow something like that and I create it. Now, uh, this data flow can be created with using any of these sources or alternatively, you can just select a blank query and go and copy and paste your query from Power BI Desktop, which is what I'm going to do now. From Power BI Desktop, I can go to Power Query Editor and then in Advanced Editor, copy the script and then come back to here and paste this script, right? Sometimes you might need to set on-premises data gateway as well. Sometimes you might not, depends on the configuration. And this will give you the queries and any other queries that you might have. Uh, you can also do some other transformations here if you want to. So pretty much similar to building Power BI data flows. Again, if you haven't done that before, I have written another blog article about step-by-step -step process of how Power BI data flows works. Uh, so going back here, the difference, however, is that after you click on next, because Power BI data flows store the data in Azure Data Lake, uh, Power Platform data flows don't store data in Azure Data Lake normally. They store data in Common Data Services, which is, again, something I have written in another blog article, what is Common Data Services. It's a storage engine and also data recovery engine uh, and, and data management engine, let's say, all data services engine using uh, that Power Apps uses. So Power Apps store data in there. That means when I click on Next, it comes to Load to Entity, scenario uh, that I can load to an existing entity and mm, CDS has a lot of existing entity or I can go ahead and create a new entity and build my entity. Um, you have some requirements to build a key field and a name field and things like that. So after building your uh, data flows, then you get to the next step, which is uh, schedule refresh. Now I'm not going to build the data flow here just to show you how the schedule refresh part of it works. I go to one of existing data flow and edit the refresh setting. 
This is the part that I wanted to show you from the beginning. You can refresh your data flows even at the frequency of a minute. As you can see here, minutes, hours, days, weeks, months, you can even refresh it at the frequency of a minute, every one minute, for example. You can refresh it like that. Um, and just to show you an example of that, this is an execution history of one of these data flows. As you can see, this has been refreshed every single minute and we don't have the limitation of eight times a day refresh or 30 minutes uh, frequency. So you might ask, okay, if that is the case, that looks great, then what, uh, what license should I need? Uh, what license do I need for this? Uh, for this, you don't need Power BI accounts or Power BI license. You need Power Apps license. At the moment, Power Apps licensing uh, has uh, two options, $10 per month, per user per app per month and $40 per user per month. Um, they both have the ability to use data flows, but their size of data is different. So have a look and see what are other options. Uh, by the time that you watch this video, there might be other options as well later on available. Um, the thing that I have to mention here is that um, if you um, use this later on in Power BI, import it in Power BI, you are using Power BI dataset as well. So the limitation of a Power BI dataset still applies because you have to refresh it. However, this will give you the ability to refresh it into an intermediate storage, which is CDS more frequently. Um, then how do you use it in Power BI? Uh, let me show you an example here. So this is a Power BI uh, desktop environment. When you get data, you can say you get data from Power Platform data flows. That's one option or common data services. Both of these should work for that scenario because um, at the end of the day, it is stored in common data services. If you use that option, um, just to show you an example of that, this is the common data services connection that I have to my environment. And then I can go and select any of these entities that I have and then um, get data from those. So basically you are using uh, common data services CDS as your intermediate storage. You are using Power Platform data flows to transform the data and load the data into that environment. And you don't need premium account for that. You can use Power Apps uh, account, but that doesn't, um, that doesn't mean that you don't need Power BI um, license at all. You still need Power BI license for refreshing your Power BI data sets. Hope this video helped you in your implementation. Um, go ahead and um, subscribe to our YouTube channel if you like to see more videos of Power BI and AI. Thank you.